What's up, family? This is a tough one. A Columbia, South Carolina woman by the name of Jessica Edens used the gun she stole from her parents' house to gun down a woman at her estranged husband's apartment complex. She then called her estranged husband just before she shot her five-year-old daughter in the head and then shot her nine-year-old son in the head in the back seat of her Jeep. She then called her estranged husband one more time before she turned the gun on herself and shot herself in the head. Y'all check out the video. Leave your comments and I'll come back with mine. We are confident that Jessica Eden shot and killed Meredith Rame while she was seated in her vehicle in the parking deck at Main Stone parking garage. From what we have gathered, Jessica Edens and the male acquaintance were separated at the time of the incident and there were custody issues going on between the two of them uh, regarding one of the two children uh, who is a child they have in common. Pickens County, uh, because of the jurisdictional uh, boundaries, Pickens County has picked up the investigation uh, of uh, the three deaths in the vehicle. Uh, they will comment and are certainly in a better position and it's more appropriate that they comment on the contents of their investigation or the revelations from their investigation and what they determine. Uh, we know uh, that uh, this particular case stems from uh, domestic related separation and subsequent uh, conflict uh, in that separation. Now we know why the husband left her. Cray cray. Interesting fact. This woman, Jessica Edens, is the third woman in the past six years in Pickens County to kill her own children. Susan Hendricks is serving a life sentence for killing her two adult sons, her ex-husband, and her stepmother in 2011, while Suzanne Simpson is serving a life sentence for killing her seven-year-old daughter and five-year-old son as they slept, as well as shooting her husband in the head, but he survived. Question, when are people going to learn that nobody is worth killing yourself over and a double Nobody is worth killing your children over. What in the hell is wrong with human beings? Why do human beings act so demonic? Where's all of this coming from? And I know there's been some barbaric acts by humans throughout the years, throughout history. But at some point, you would think people would evolve for the better. With all of the technology that we have, the learning that we have, the, the documents and research that we have, it seems like, and we're cloning individuals now. With all of this technology, with all of this smartness, intelligence. It seems that somebody would figure out a way to solve the problem of conflict resolution. Somehow. I mean, where everybody gets it, because I get it. And a number of other people get it. But it just seems like so many people don't. I cannot remember a time when people, when so many people so willingly just kill their own children, especially unprovoked. I mean, I might be able to see a situation where 
you got a Marvin Gaye type thing going on where he's attacking his father. He's high or whatever. And the father trying to defend himself and, you know, it go down. We talking about people just gunning down their kids, killing their kids left and right, man. Where is this coming from? Man, this is, we got to be living in the last days. This is hard to explain. This is very hard to explain. These poor children, they didn't deserve to die. These kids are dying for their parents' sins. This don't make any sense. The woman obviously had some type of mental problem. I don't even really know if it's mental illness, though, because this ain't mental illness. This is evil. This is evilness. This is not just mental illness. It's not just cray-cray. This is evil. This woman was evil personified. How do a person wrap an idea around their mind that, okay, I'm about to kill my children. And not, I'm, just, I'm not just going to kill my children. I'm going to kill my children out of spite because he don't want me. I'm going to make him pay. I'm going to make him pay. This is that idea of self-entitlement that this woman had. She felt entitled to her parents' gun, so she stole her parents' gun. She felt entitled to own or possess her husband, so she took the life of her husband's mistress. She felt entitled to decide that her children would die a violent death, so she killed her children. The only thing this piece of shit got right is that she killed herself. I'm gonna tell you straight up now, y'all know how I feel about these kids, man, when people do kids wrong. And the way I feel, it ain't limited to what men do. Cause y'all know how I come down when men do stuff like this. It ain't no different. Just because she a woman, it ain't no different. If she do, if she step out there and do that same ignorant stuff that some of these do, sucker stuff, she participate in that suckerism, then she get it too. She ain't no different. I'm not going to spare. Just like the rest of them, she a sucker too. When are people going to learn to move on? Have some pride, man. Have some kind of sense of value for yourself. Think for yourself. If this person is out here, they don't want me. If I've done all that I can do and I feel that I deserve better, why would I kill myself or kill others for this piece of shit over here? that is treating me like nothing. Why would I hurt myself even further? I hurt other people. It doesn't make sense. It makes no sense whatsoever. I'm not even going to physically hurt that person. If I do, it's going to be in the form of stressing their ass out as I shine. I'm going to move on. That's what I'm going to do. I'm moving on and I'm going to shine because I know I'm a good dude. I know that I'm loyal. I know this. I know that if I'm on somebody's team, they got them a loyal teammate. If I'm with you, I'm with you. If I fuck with you, I'm stuck with you. That's how I rock. So you messed that up, that's on you. I'm smart enough to know, keep it moving, baby. I'm going to keep it moving. Whatever it cost me to get rid of you, man, that was the cost. If I spent all my money on you and I ran out of money, 
or whatever, <laughs> I'm going to cut the losses right there. I'm going to stop the bleeding right there, and I'm gone. You'll never see my kind again. It's going to be hard to replace me. Very hard. So she's going to suffer the most in the end. And if you really are a good person, if you know that you, you know your value, you know what you bring to the table, you know that you give your all in a relationship, you know that you're loyal, you're faithful, then when somebody do you dirty, the best thing you can do, catch out on them. Because guess what? Man, it's hard to find somebody that fit all of those criteria. You can find cute little people all over the place. They everywhere. You can find all that kind of stuff. You can find a big booty. That ain't nothing. Whatever you like. Big titties, that's easy. That ain't nothing. You can go get that stuff manufactured. That's made. That's nothing. You can get pumped up. It's nothing. What's right here? What's in here? That's the hard part. That's the hard part to cover right there. That's the very hard part to cover. That woman was a sociopath. The ultimate selfish act is what she committed. You know where all of this is coming from? Lack of a spiritual connection, broken homes, neglect, no morals, hatred for those who don't look like us, who don't share our beliefs, the lack of self-accountability. Today, more than any time, it is very hard to separate crazy from evil. It takes a very evil person to kill their own children. Jessica Edens, if there's a such thing as the afterlife, I hope you rot in hell. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about? Damn. Florida, Texas.